Hey everyone, and welcome back to Motivational Beliefs. Today, we're diving into a topic that's fascinated humanity for centuries. The idea that God communicates with us, not through burning bushes or booming voices, but through the quiet whispers of our own minds. Have you ever had a sudden insight that felt like more than just a random thought? Or maybe you've experienced a gut feeling that turned out to be spot on. These could be signs that you're tuned into a divine frequency, a channel of communication that's always open and available to us all. Why is this important? Well, imagine if you could decipher these messages, understand their deeper meaning, and use them as a compass to navigate your life. This could lead to a deeper sense of purpose, more meaningful relationships, and a life that aligns with your true calling. Throughout this video, we'll explore different ways that God may be speaking to you, how to recognize these messages, and practical steps you can take to cultivate a more intimate connection with the divine. We'll delve into personal stories, spiritual teachings, and scientific insights, offering a multifaceted look at this profound topic. So, if you're ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery, spiritual growth, and deeper connection with God, then grab a cup of tea, settle in, and let's explore this together. Now, let's dive deeper into the fascinating concept of the divine mind and how it speaks to us. Picture our minds as vast landscapes filled with bustling cities of thoughts, tranquil rivers of emotions, and hidden caverns of subconscious desires. Within this intricate terrain, God's messages are scattered like precious gems waiting to be discovered. But here's the twist. God doesn't communicate in the same way we do. Forget grand pronouncements or detailed instructions. Instead, the divine language is subtle, nuanced, and often deeply personal. It's the gentle nudge of intuition, the warmth of love in your heart, the sudden flash of inspiration, or the unshakable feeling that you're on the right path. This concept is beautifully captured in the Bible, where God speaks to the prophet Elijah, not in a mighty wind, an earthquake, or a fire, but in a still small voice within. This whispers that we often overlook in the chaos of our daily lives, the quiet guidance that's always available to us if we only know how to listen. Think of the times you've had a gut feeling about a decision, a sense of peace that washes over you in prayer, or a deep knowing that something is right or wrong. These are all whispers from the divine mind, subtle messages designed to guide us toward our highest good. But why this subtle approach? Perhaps it's because God respects our free will, allowing us to choose our own paths while offering gentle nudges along the way. Or maybe it's because the divine language is so profound that it can only be grasped on a deeper, intuitive level. Whatever the reason, the key takeaway is this. God is speaking to us all the time, but not in the ways we might expect. It's up to us to tune into this frequency, to quiet our minds, open our hearts, and listen for the whispers of the divine. In the next segment of this video, we'll explore practical techniques for recognizing these messages and deciphering their deeper meaning. We'll delve into the role of prayer, meditation, and true journaling as tools for cultivating a closer relationship with the divine mind. And we'll share inspiring stories of individuals who have transformed their lives by following the whispers of their hearts. Now that we've established the subtle nature of divine communication, let's explore the diverse ways God uses these whispers to reach us. Remember, these are just a few examples, and the possibilities are as vast as our imaginations. Have you ever had a gut feeling about something, an inexplicable sense of knowing that defies logic? That's your intuition, often described as the compass of the soul. It's a direct line to the divine mind, offering guidance that transcends rational thought. Intuition speaks in a language of feelings, hunches, and inner knowings. It's that quiet voice that says, this feels right or something's not quite right here. Learning to trust your intuition is like developing a muscle. The more you pay attention to it and act on its guidance, the stronger it becomes. As we sleep, our conscious minds take a backseat, 
allowing our subconscious to come forward. This is a fertile ground for divine communication. Dreams can offer profound insights, guidance, and even warnings if we know how to interpret them. Pay attention to recurring symbols, emotions, and themes in your dreams. Keep a dream journal to record your experiences and look for patterns. Sometimes the meaning of a dream is immediately clear, while other times it may require deeper reflection and prayer. Have you ever noticed repeated numbers like 1111 or experienced meaningful coincidences that seem too improbable to be random? These are synchronicities, often seen as winks from the universe or messages from God. These signs can appear in various forms. A song that plays at just the right moment, a chance encounter with someone who offers exactly what you need, or a book that falls open to a page that resonates with your current situation. The key is to be open to these signs and to trust that they are guiding you along your path. Emotions are more than just fleeting feelings. They are a way for our souls to communicate with us. Feelings of peace, joy, love, and gratitude often indicate that we are in alignment with the divine will. On the other hand, feelings of anxiety, anger, or resentment may be signs that we need to course correct. Pay attention to your emotions, not as something to be suppressed or ignored, but as valuable messengers. Ask yourself, what is this emotion trying to tell me? This can lead to deeper self-awareness and a clearer understanding of your needs and desires. Remember, these are just a few examples of how God communicates with us. The divine language is as vast and varied as creation itself. The key is to be open, receptive, and willing to listen. By cultivating a deeper connection with your intuition, paying attention to your dreams, being aware of signs and synchronicities, and honoring your emotions, you can open yourself to the rich and rewarding dialogue with the divine mind. Now that we've explored the various ways God communicates with us, let's delve into practical steps you can take to cultivate a deeper connection with the divine mind and receive its messages more clearly. In our fast-paced world, our minds are often cluttered with thoughts, worries, and distractions. Meditation is a powerful tool for quieting the mental chatter and creating a sacred space where God's whispers can be heard. Set aside time each day, even if it's just a few minutes, to sit in silence and focus on your breath. Let go of thoughts as they arise, gently returning your attention to the present moment. As you cultivate stillness, you may begin to notice subtle sensations, insights, or feelings of peace that were previously drowned out by the noise of your mind. In silence, we create a vacuum that can be filled with divine inspiration. Find a quiet place where you can be alone with your thoughts and simply be present. Turn off your phone, close your eyes, and allow yourself to be enveloped in the stillness. This practice can be challenging at first, as our minds are accustomed to constant stimulation. But with patience and persistence, you'll discover that silence is not empty, but rather a fertile ground for spiritual growth and connection. Prayer is not just about asking for things. It's about cultivating a relationship with the divine. Talk to God as you would a trusted friend. Share your joys, sorrows, hopes, and fears. Express your desires, seek guidance, and offer gratitude for the blessings in your life. Prayer can take many forms, spoken words, silent contemplation, or even creative expression through art, music, or movement. The most important aspect is the sincerity of your heart and your willingness to open yourself to divine guidance. Receiving divine messages requires trust and surrender. Have faith that God is always with you, guiding and supporting you every step of the way. Believe in your intuition and the wisdom of your heart. Remember, the divine plan for your life may not always align with your expectations. Trust that even the challenges and setbacks you encounter are part of a larger purpose. By surrendering to the divine will, you open yourself to a greater sense of peace, joy, and fulfillment. As you deepen your spiritual practice, 
you may begin to receive messages that seem to come from God. It's important to cultivate discernment, the ability to distinguish between true divine guidance and the distractions of the ego. The ego often speaks in a voice of fear, doubt, and judgment. It may try to convince you that you're not good enough, not worthy or not capable of achieving your dreams. The divine voice, on the other hand, speaks in a language of love, compassion, and encouragement. It reminds you of your inherent worth, your divine potential, and your connection to all that is. When in doubt, ask yourself, does this message resonate with love or fear? Does it uplift me or bring me down? Does it align with my highest values and aspirations? By listening to your heart and trusting your intuition, you can learn to discern the true voice of God amidst the noise of the world. By incorporating these practices into your daily life, meditation, silence, prayer, trust, and discernment, you can create a fertile ground for receiving divine messages and living a life that is aligned with your soul's purpose. Remember, the journey of spiritual growth is ongoing. Be patient with yourself, embrace the process, and trust that God is always with you, guiding you towards a life of greater love, joy, and fulfillment. Throughout history, countless individuals have shared remarkable stories of experiencing divine communication. Their experiences offer inspiration and reassurance that we, too, can open ourselves to this profound connection. Consider the story of Joan of Arc, a young peasant girl who heard voices she believed were from God, guiding her to lead the French army to victory. Or the renowned inventor Nikola Tesla, who claimed to receive his groundbreaking ideas through flashes of inspiration that seemed to come from a higher source. In more recent times, spiritual teachers like Eckhart Tolle and Deepak Chopra have shared their personal journeys of awakening to the divine presence within themselves and in the world around them. Their teachings have touched millions, inspiring them to seek their own spiritual paths. These examples, spanning centuries and diverse backgrounds, demonstrate that divine communication is not limited to a select few, but available to all who are willing to listen. One crucial aspect of divine communication is the concept of divine timing. Often, we seek answers and guidance when we are ready, not necessarily when it is most beneficial for us to receive them. But God, in His infinite wisdom, knows the perfect moment for each revelation. Sometimes, we may feel impatient or frustrated when answers don't come immediately. But it's important to trust that the divine timing is always at play, Perhaps there are lessons we need to learn, experiences we need to have, or inner work we need to do before we are ready to receive certain guidance. By surrendering to the divine timing, we cultivate patience, trust, and a deeper understanding of God's plan for our lives. We learn to let go of our need for control and embrace the unfolding of our journey with grace and acceptance. Nature has long been a source of inspiration, awe and wonder for humanity. Many spiritual traditions believe that God's presence can be found in the natural world, from the majestic mountains to the delicate petals of a flower. Spending time in nature can be a profound way to connect with the divine mind. The beauty and harmony of the natural world can awaken our senses, quiet our minds, and open our hearts to the whispers of the divine. Whether it's a walk in the woods, a swim in the ocean, or simply gazing at the stars, nature offers countless opportunities for spiritual reflection and connection. As you immerse yourself in nature, pay attention to the sights, sounds, smells, and sensations around you. Allow yourself to be fully present in the moment. You may find that the natural world speaks to you in a language of its own, offering insights, guidance, and a renewed sense of wonder and appreciation for the beauty of creation. Remember, divine communication is a two-way street. It requires both our willingness to listen and our openness to receive. By cultivating a deeper connection with your intuition, paying attention to your dreams, recognizing signs and synchronicities, honoring your emotions, 
and embracing practices like meditation, prayer, and spending time in nature, you can open yourself to the rich and rewarding dialogue with the divine mind. As you embark on this journey, remember that you are not alone. Countless individuals throughout history have walked this path before you, and their stories offer inspiration and guidance. Trust in the divine timing, have faith in your intuition, and allow yourself to be guided by the whispers of your heart. Again, receiving divine messages is not just about hearing the whispers. It's about living in alignment with them. It's about embodying the divine qualities that these messages reflect, integrating them into our actions, thoughts, and relationships. God's messages are not just meant for our personal growth, but for the betterment of the world around us. When we act with kindness, compassion, and selflessness, we become conduits of divine love, spreading light and healing wherever we go. Volunteer your time to help those in need, offer a listening ear to a friend who's struggling, or simply perform random acts of kindness throughout your day. These seemingly small actions can have a ripple effect, creating positive change in the lives of others and deepening your connection to the divine. Keeping a journal can be a powerful tool for capturing and reflecting on divine messages. Write down your dreams, intuitions, synchronicities, and any other experiences that feel significant. Note the emotions you feel and the insights you gain. Over time, you may begin to notice patterns and themes emerge. This can help you understand the deeper meaning of the messages you receive and how they relate to your life's journey. Journaling also provides a space for gratitude and reflection, allowing you to appreciate the many ways God is present in your life. While our intuition is a valuable guide, it can be helpful to seek guidance from those who have walked the spiritual path before us. Spiritual teachers and mentors can offer wisdom, support, and encouragement as we navigate the challenges and joys of our journey. Find a teacher or mentor whose teachings resonate with you and who embodies the qualities you aspire to. Their guidance can help you deepen your understanding of divine communication, overcome obstacles, and stay on track with your spiritual goals. Remember, living a divine life is not about perfection. It's about progress. It's about striving to be the best version of yourself, to love unconditionally, to serve others, and to live in alignment with your highest values. It's about embracing the journey of growth and transformation, trusting that God is always with you, guiding you towards a life of greater love, joy, and fulfillment. As you continue on this path, remember that you are a unique and precious expression of the divine. Your life has a purpose, and your voice matters. By listening to the whispers of your heart, following the guidance you receive, and sharing your light with the world, you can create a ripple of positive change that extends far beyond yourself. As we progress on our spiritual journey, we discover that our connection with the divine mind deepens and expands. We begin to perceive the divine presence not just in isolated messages, but as an ever-present reality that permeates every aspect of our lives. Deep within our hearts lies a sacred space, an inner sanctuary where God's presence is always available to us. This is a place of peace, love, and wisdom, a wellspring of divine inspiration and guidance. To access this inner sanctuary, we must quiet our minds, release our worries and anxieties, and turn our attention inward. Through practices like meditation, prayer, and mindfulness, we can cultivate a deeper connection with this sacred space, allowing it to become our refuge in times of turmoil and our source of strength in times of need. Life is not always smooth sailing. We all encounter challenges, setbacks, and obstacles along the way. But even these difficulties can carry divine messages if we are open to receiving them. Often, challenges are opportunities for growth, forcing us to confront our limitations, develop new skills, and discover hidden strengths. They can also reveal areas where we need to heal, forgive, or let go. By embracing challenges as opportunities for learning and transformation, 
we allow the divine mind to guide us towards greater resilience, wisdom, and inner peace. Our relationship with God is not a one-time event, but an ongoing dialogue. Through prayer, gratitude, and praise, we can cultivate a deeper connection with the divine and open ourselves to receiving continuous guidance and support. Make time each day to express your gratitude for the blessings in your life. Thank God for your health, your loved ones, your talents, and even the challenges that have shaped you into who you are. Praise God for the beauty of creation, the miracle of life, and the infinite wisdom that guides the universe. As you engage in this dialogue with God, be open to receiving answers in unexpected ways. They may come through dreams, synchronicities, intuitive insights, or even the words of a stranger. The key is to remain open and receptive, trusting that God is always communicating with you, even when you least expect it. The divine mind often speaks in paradoxes, messages that seem contradictory on the surface, but hold deeper truths when contemplated. For example, the idea that we must lose ourselves to find ourselves, or that true strength lies in vulnerability. These paradoxes challenge our limited understanding and invite us to expand our consciousness. They remind us that the divine mind operates on a level far beyond our comprehension, and that true wisdom lies in embracing the mystery and complexity of life. By remaining open to divine paradoxes, we allow ourselves to be stretched and transformed by the divine mind. We learn to let go of rigid beliefs and embrace a more expansive view of reality, one that encompasses both light and darkness, joy and sorrow, life and death. As you continue on your spiritual journey, remember that the divine mind is always with you, guiding, supporting, and inspiring you. By cultivating a deeper connection with this infinite source of wisdom, love, and creativity, you can unlock your full potential and live a life that is both meaningful and fulfilling. May your journey be filled with blessings, insights, and a growing sense of wonder and awe at the infinite possibilities that await you. As we deepen our connection with the divine mind, we naturally begin to radiate the love and wisdom we receive. Sharing this light with others is an integral part of our spiritual growth and a way to fulfill our purpose in the world. Compassion is the language of God's love, a universal expression of empathy, kindness, and understanding. When we extend compassion to others, we not only uplift them, but we also deepen our own connection to the divine. Look for opportunities to show compassion in your daily interactions. Offer a helping hand to someone in need, listen with an open heart to a friend's struggles, or simply smile at a stranger. Small acts of kindness can have a profound impact, creating a ripple effect of love and healing in the world. Understanding divine communication is not a destination, but an ongoing journey of discovery and growth. As we evolve spiritually, our ability to receive and interpret divine messages expands. We may encounter new challenges, receive unexpected insights, and experience deeper levels of connection with the divine mind. Embrace this journey with curiosity, openness, and a willingness to learn. Be patient with yourself, knowing that spiritual growth takes time and dedication. Celebrate your successes, learn from your mistakes, and trust that the divine mind is always guiding you towards greater wisdom and understanding. As you deepen your connection with the divine mind, you may feel inspired to share your insights and experiences with others. Your unique perspective and personal journey can offer hope, encouragement, and guidance to those who are seeking their own spiritual path. Share your story through writing, speaking, or simply through your daily interactions. Offer a listening ear, a kind word, or a helping hand to those who are struggling. Your willingness to share your light can ignite a spark in others, inspiring them to embark on their own journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. Remember, we are all interconnected, and our individual journeys are woven into the tapestry of life. By sharing our light, we contribute to the collective awakening of humanity and the creation of a more compassionate, 
loving, and peaceful world. As we reach the end of our journey exploring how God communicates with us, let's remember that divine communication is not always about grand revelations or mystical experiences. It's often found in the ordinary, the everyday moments of our lives. It's in the warmth of the sunshine on our skin, the laughter of a child, the beauty of a blooming flower, or the comfort of a warm embrace. These simple joys are not just random occurrences. They are expressions of God's love and presence in our lives. When we approach each day with gratitude, we open ourselves to the subtle messages hidden within these seemingly ordinary experiences. As you go about your day, look for the divine in the details. Notice the synchronicities, the unexpected kindnesses, the moments of beauty that take your breath away. These are all whispers from the divine mind, reminding you that you are loved, supported, and guided every step of the way. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of divine communication. I hope this video has inspired you to deepen your connection with God and to listen for the whispers of your heart. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring content. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Remember, the journey of spiritual growth is ongoing. Be patient with yourself, trust the process, and never stop seeking the divine in all that you do. May your life be filled with blessings, joy, and a profound sense of connection with the divine mind.